caught up with several Rhode Islanders down in our nation's capital today who are there to witness history. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan joins us live in studio with more. Kelly. Mike, in less than 24 hours, Donald Trump will take the oath of office as the nation's 45th president. Millions of people from all over the nation are descending upon our nation's capital to witness history, including many Rhode Islanders. Washington, D.C. is getting busier by the minute, and it was a very busy day for the president-elect, who landed at Andrews Air Force Base on one of the presidential planes. He attended a congressional luncheon and then laid a wreath at the Arlington National Cemetery with Vice President-elect Mike Pence. Rhode Islanders in town for the inauguration described the scene as electric. I'm just so excited. This is, this is such a great experience, um, once in a lifetime, uh, maybe the only time in a lifetime, and uh, it's just electric. It's just very exciting to be here in Washington to see the culmination of a year and a half's worth of efforts actually giving us Donald Trump as president. Very exciting time. Had an opportunity to come down with my wife to be part of this great experience, to have a Republican in office, a Republican businessman who is going to turn the country around and make sure our economy is thriving. It's something that's important to me. It's going to help our residents in uh, my city, in Cranston. It's going to help our state, help our country, get people back to work and get them back on their feet. And tomorrow's inauguration begins at 9.30 a.m. with musical performances, followed by the swearing-in ceremony at noon. I'm Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.